Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here coming to you live with another uh, tutorial here on Solo Learn. Uh, so we will be doing introduction to C++. This will be part five. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on my profile here. Let's go back to the C++ course. Let's go ahead and open up the course and let's continue where we left off with moron variables. So Specifying the data type is required just once at the time of the variable declared is enough. After that, the variable may be used without referencing the data type. So you, you create this pointer and then you can assign, you know, whatever you want to its memory. Specifying the data type for a given variable more than once results in a syntax error. So there's the immutability, the non-changing aspect of that. So how many times should a data type be mentioned for a variable? Okay. So only once when declaring the, ver the variable. Awesome. Um, a variable's value may be changed as many times as necessary throughout the program. So here we see A set to 100, then it's set to 50, and uh, it outputs 50. Awesome. So type in the code, type in a code to declare a variable B and assign, its, assign A's value to B, then print, out the, print their sum to the screen. So we'll assign B to A. Okay, and then what we're going to do is assign A plus B, so we should see 30. Cool. Uh, so now we'll move on to basic arithmetic. Okay, so C++ supports these arithmetic operators. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, sorry, multiplication, division, and modulus. What this will do, so you have um, like 9 divided by 2. That's going to give you a remainder of 1 because 2 goes into 9 4 times with the remainder of 1 left over. So that's what that will do. Uh, the addition operator adds its operands together. Here we go. We have this integer stored to the value or the sum of 40 plus 60. And then we're outputting it to the standard uh, output screen. Actually, let me get rid of that. Um, next up, guys, type in a code. To declare a variable x, assign its value to 4 plus 6 and print it out to the screen. Okay, let's print it out to uh, what do we need to do? Type into code and assign it. Oh, right. We're going to create that stream there. Awesome. The subtraction operator subtracts one operand from the other. So, pretty simple stuff. Let's try this out. Uh, y is equal to x plus 12. And then I'll print out y. Awesome. Multiplication, just like you would think, the multiplication operator multiplies its operands. So here we have the product of 5 times 6. We're uh, writing it to the standard output, and we should get 30. So let's try this out. So which symbol, which symbol is used to multiply variables in C++? Okay, that would be this right here, multiplication. Awesome. Division. The division operator divides the first operand by the second. Any remainder is dropped in order to return an integer value. Okay, so say we wanted the decimals, then you would change this data type to a float or a decimal. I'm not sure if C++ has double, but we'll find that out. Um, if one or both of the operands are floating point values, the division operator performs floating point division. Dividing by zero will result in a divide by zero exception. Caught at, uh, at uh, I would believe that would be caught at compile time. Um, or run time, actually. Fill in the blanks to declare variable x and assign it the value 81 divided by 3. Okay, so 81 divided by 3. And then we're going to print it out to the stream. Okay, next, modulus. The modulus operator is informally known as the remainder operator because it returns the remainder after an integer division. So here we go. We have 25 modulus 7. So this is saying basically how many times does 7 go into 25? That would be 3 with a remainder of 4, and that's why we get 4 here. Uh, which operator is used to determine the remainder? Here it is. Modulus looks like the percentage. Awesome. Uh, operator precedence, just like you learned in you know math class. You have PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which is uh, parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So operator precedence determines the grouping of terms in an expression, which affect how an expression is evaluated. Certain operators take higher precedence over others. For example, the multiplication operator has higher precedent, precedence over the addition operator. And use parentheses obviously has even higher precedence. Cool. So that's just stuff we learned when we were younger. Uh, fill in the missing parentheses to have x's value equal to 14. 
Okay. So I'm going to create a parentheses right here and a parentheses right there. So now this expression will be evaluated, which will return 7. And then we'll multiply by 2, 14. And in this bucket of x, we'll be stored the value of 14. Then we'll print it out to the standard output. Awesome. Uh, operator precedence. Parentheses forces force the operation to have higher precedence. Remember, it's the P of PEMDAS. If there are par parenthetical expressions nested within one another, the expression within the innermost parentheses is evaluated first. So it's like a hierarchy. If none of the expressions are in parentheses, multipl multiplicative multiplication division modulus operators will be evaluated before additive addition subtraction operators. Cool. Which two, which two statements are correct for arithmetic operations? Okay, so parentheses first, then multiplication and division. And let's see. Multiplication is done before addition. Awesome. All right, guys. So that was it for part five of Introduction to C++ here on Solo Learn. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.